Hi everyone and welcome back to University. I'm Dr. Kelly and this is one of my ancillary videos so it will be a little more chatty and informal, a little personal. Since I last talked to you the semester ended, I got all my grades in and went to graduation on Saturday. So now I'm happy to have a little breathing space. We have about a month off and it's nice to have some time to do some holiday stuff and then start getting ready for uh, spring semester classes. This morning I had a dissertation defense via Skype, which was interesting. Um, one of my former students, um, undergrad honor students, is getting her PhD and she asked me to be on her dissertation committee. So in psychology at least, usually for a dissertation committee you're required to have somebody outside of your department on your committee. So I was the external committee member on her committee. So it was interesting getting five people together on Skype so she could do her defense. But everything went smoothly and she did a great job. And then I thought I would record this video real quick so I could get it out this week. So grab your knitting or other crafting and sit down with me for a little while because I'm going to share with you some of my winter favorites. And these might make some great last minute gift ideas too if you're still looking for some holiday gifts. These are just kind of random items that I've been loving lately. So let's get right into it. The first item is something that's not really related to winter, but it's something I've recently discovered and have been using a lot. Um, these are called Go Tubs, and this is the small size. Its capacity is one half ounce, and I've been using them for things like stitch markers, um, beads, and other small craft items. They are made out of polypropylene and are food safe, so you can put things like pills or snacks in them. Um, like I said, this is the smallest size, but there are several larger sizes that you can get for your bigger items. They come in a bunch of different colors and you can write on the tub itself so that it's labeled. What I love about them is that they're super easy to open with just one hand. You just squeeze the lid toward the bottom and it pops the lid right off. The lid also snaps on very firmly so it's not going to accidentally come off and your stuff spills all over the place. Anyway, these small go tubs are handy for holding and organizing things and they're easy to store or throw into your project bags. And this three pack that I got of small size ones was a little over $4 on Amazon. So yeah, I've really been enjoying these go tubs lately. A household item that I love in the winter is this candle from Target and it is in the scent called Snuggly Sweater. I found this candle last year and I really enjoyed it and I told my knitting friends about it too and many of them picked it up and enjoyed it. So when I saw it again in the store this year I had to get more including some to give as gifts. There are several different sizes um, this is the largest one, which is 19 ounces. The regular price is $10, but Target is often having sales on candles, and I got this one on sale for 20% off. Um, I find the aroma to be pleasant. It's a combination of lavender, rose, vanilla, and musk, supposedly with the scent of warm wool included. So it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a heavier winter scent. If you're interested, I recommend that you go over to Target and smell it for yourself and see if it's something that you like. And again, that is the uh, Chesapeake Bay Candle Home Scents in the Snuggly Sweater Fragrance. And while we're talking about household goods and Target, I thought I would share with you my absolute favorite kind of bed sheets. Now, I think I might be weird, but it seems like everyone else is using flannel sheets in the winter, but I personally can't stand flannel sheets. I get too hot at night. So I'm a huge fan of cotton percale sheets all year round. I love percale sheets. So what's so special about percale? Um, percale is a specific kind of weave. If you love the feel of a cool, crisp sheet, then this is what you're looking for. Percale sheets are tightly woven, lightweight, and feel like the fabric of a button-up dress shirt. Very smooth on both sides. Because of the tightly woven pattern, 
Her kale sheets are not super soft and squishy and drapey like flannel sheets or some other cotton sheets. Instead, they have a structured, crisp feel, and you can hear that snap when you move the sheets around. And also because they are tightly woven, they don't have problems with pilling, which I hate when sheets get pills. So percale sheets don't have those issues. And you sleep cooler with percale sheets. Now the one drawback about percale sheets is that when they, that they get wrinkled when you put them through the wash. Some people iron them. I do not. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, my favorite percale sheets are these from Target. This particular brand is called Opal House, and I've had really good luck with this brand. This is probably the fourth set of percale sheets that I've gotten from Target, and I like these way more than percale sheets I've gotten at any other places. They are 100% cotton, but they don't seem to wrinkle as much as some other brands. I also love that they come in beautiful colors and patterns. I just picked up this queen set, which has a really pretty peacock pattern. I also have some flowered ones and striped ones in this same brand. The regular price for these sheets is $40 for queen size, but they are currently on sale for 30% off. So I paid under $30, which I think is very reasonable for a set of sheets these days. So yes, I can highly recommend these cotton percale sheets from Target if you're like me and like to stay cool at night all year round. <laughs> Okay, and kind of continuing with the theme of staying cool, one product that I've recently discovered and am loving is this little portable fan. This is another year-round thing, not necessarily a winter-only item. A lot of days when I'm getting ready in the morning, I feel like I can't cool down after I get out of the shower. So this fan has come in very handy because it's small and lightweight and puts out a good little breeze. It has six clear fan blades and three adjustable speed levels. You just press the power button once for low, twice for medium, and three times for high speed. There are several things I like about this fan. First, it's rechargeable with a USB port, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries. And it also holds a charge for quite a long time, like a couple of weeks at least. It also folds up so you can set it on a table or you can extend the handle and hold it in your hand. It's small enough to put in your bag if you want to take it with you and it comes in several different colors. I got the blue but it also comes in pink and black and you can get this on Amazon for under $15. All right, uh, next I have a few favorite office supplies to share with you. And the first one is this envelope addressing pen from Pilot. Now I first saw this on JetPen's website and I thought it was intriguing that we need a special pen for addressing envelopes. And it was only $2.50, so I thought I would try it out. And this pen is awesome. It writes so smoothly. The reason that it's good for addressing envelopes is that the ink is super dark and waterproof so it doesn't smear or wash off in the rain and it's easy for the post office machines to read. The ink also dries quickly so there's no danger of smearing it with your hand and it would be great to use if you're left-handed. It's good to use for envelopes and postcards and I've actually been using it for general writing lately. It comes in several tip sizes, extra fine, fine, and broad, and it only comes in black ink. But again, they're only $2.50 from Jet Pens, so I'm going to be picking up a couple more of these to have around. I'm really enjoying this pen. My next favorite office supply lately has been these window memos. These are sticky notes like post-its, but they're made from translucent vellum so you can place your sticky note on a piece of paper and still see what's underneath. I found them to be so useful in my calendar when I might need to write a reminder but still want to see what's on, the, on my schedule underneath the sticky note. I also think they would be useful for knitting patterns, like if you wanted to trace a drawing of what a section of your pattern is going to look like, and then you could stick that on top of your pattern and still read the instructions but have the picture of what it's going to look like right there. 
Along those same lines, these would be great for students to trace diagrams and charts in their textbooks and then put the sticky memo right in their notebook with their notes from class. Now, just like on post-its, you can peel off the sticky note from paper and it doesn't leave a trace. You can reposition them and everything like that. You can get these window memos from jet pens and there are currently three versions available at the time I'm recording this. Version one is three inches square and you get 40 in the package. Version two, which is what I have, is one and a half by three inches and you get 80 in the package. Version five are the bigger ones. They are three by six inches and you get 20 in the package. And all of these are the same price, around $8, and they're nice and handy to have around. Another office supply that I'm enamored with is this mini cleaner, which is used to clean up small debris on your desk. I know that when I do paper crafting, I always end up with a lot of little paper particles and dust on my table and desk. So this has been super helpful to get all those pieces cleaned up. Or you know how you, when you use a pencil eraser, you get all those eraser crumbs all over the place? Well, this will clean all that up. Um, this mini cleaner is a hand-powered mechanical broom inside this small plastic case. There are four little wheels on the bottom of it and two bristles which turn when you push it forward. Those turning bristles sweep up the small pieces of paper, eraser crumbs, glitter, whatever tiny bits are on your desk. It will whisk away. All of the debris collects in this little compartment in the back of the mini cleaner. And when you're done cleaning up, you just pop open the bottom cover and dump it all into the trash. It's an easy and kind of fun way to keep your desk clean. And these come in several different colors and the cost is under $8 from Jet Pens. Okay, my next favorite actually has something to do with winter. These are little ear warmers called ear bags. I just got, got them about a month ago and I'm loving them. They fit right over your ear and snap into place so that they stay on your ear. It's kind of like having earmuffs, but without the band over the top of your head. Let me see if I can put one on. So you just put them over your ear and then snap them in place. So I really like these because they are awesome at keeping your ears warm, but you don't have to wear a hat or earmuffs. Sometimes you don't want to wear a hat because it will mess up your hair. And in these situations, these ear bags are a great option. They have a soft fleece lining and several layers of thin slate to keep your ears warm and block the wind. We've had some really cold weather over the past few weeks, and I've enjoyed wearing these to work because they're super comfortable, lightweight, keep my ears toasty, and you know, with your hair down, you can't even tell that you're wearing them. So I got mine at Duluth Trading Company, but I see that Amazon has them for a little cheaper and for a lot more color choices. On Amazon, you can get a pair for $14, and they do come in small, medium, and large sizes. I would say read the instructions for measuring your ears and what size is appropriate for you. But yeah, these ear bags are awesome and would also make a great gift idea. Another product that I enjoy year round is this lip balm from Dr. Lip. I received a sample of this last year and when I tried it, I absolutely loved it. So I went ahead and ordered the full size and have been using it every single day. I actually use it as a lip balm at night. I put it on before bed every night and it's long lasting and keeps my lips moisturized all night long. I'm really picky about nighttime lip balms because I hate when they don't last all night or don't moisturize your lips very well. Well, this one, you only have to use a small amount. It's very thick and it has great lasting power. Now this product is called Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm and it was originally marketed for nursing mothers, but it's so great for lips and dry skin that a lot of people were using it for lip balm and lotion. So they started marketing it for those uses as well. Now I didn't notice this when I first got it, but I recently looked at the list of ingredients and it only has one ingredient and that is lanolin. 
It's made from 100% medical grade lanolin. And as you probably already know, lanolin is the natural oil that is produced by sheep. And it's what keeps their wool waterproof when they're out in the elements. So I love that this is a pure lanolin product. But keep in mind that if you are sensitive to lanolin, you definitely don't want to use this. But if you're interested in trying out this Dr. Lip product, you can get it on Amazon for around $15. All right, another great body product that I've been loving lately is this Candle Nut Body Cream from Juara. Um, this is another one that I had received a small sample of and I liked it so much that I ordered the full size. And I also got the shower gel. So the body cream is lightweight and absorbs really easily. It has a nice light scent. At least I don't think it's overwhelming. I have some lotions that are so strongly scented that I have to mix a tiny bit of them with another lotion just to tone down the smell. But I definitely don't have to do that with this one. Uh, Juara is a, an American company based in Utah, I believe but their products are inspired by ancient Indonesian beauty traditions. So for example, this line is based on the use of candle nut oil to relieve dry skin. It's moisturizing, but not greasy. The scent is kind of exotic, tropical, and a little bit floral. It has, uh, notes of freesia, jasmine, rose, and citrus with just a hint of coconut. Now I ordered mine from Birchbox and it was $35 for this jar of body cream and the shower gel was $28. Now I know that perfumes and lotion scents are very much a per personal preference, but if you're looking for something new and different, you might want to try out this Juara Candle Nut Body Cream. Okay, the last item on my winter favorites list is this advent calendar from QVC. You know, last year I got a yarny advent calendar from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and I did really enjoy that. It was kind of expensive, like $150, but you got all kinds of knitting notions, plus beautiful indie dyed yarn, and enough of it to make a gorgeous shawl pattern that was also included. Um, I finished the shawl, it was, not probably not till May or June, but it was still an enjoyable project. But this year I decided to go with something different for an advent calendar. And I saw this one from QVC, which was $65 regular price, but it was on sale for $40 and it still is. And it contains 24 different high end skincare, makeup and body products. It's always fun to open the little door each day and see what you get for that day. So far, I've gotten some lotions, face cleanser, body wash, and a few makeup products like eyeliner and blush. And I'm just mentioning this advent calendar because you can still get them on the QVC website, at least as of today when I'm filming this. And even though you're supposed to start with the calendar on December 1st, why not start them whenever you want? You could give it as a gift and the recipient starts the day after Christmas or on January 1st, or just open all the doors at once. It's a fun way to try out different products and get a little happy surprise each day for 24 days. So again, that is the QVC Beauty Advent Calendar, which I've really been enjoying this month. Now I have one more item to tell you about that's just on my wish list. I don't have it here in person but it's something that I'm really looking forward to getting and trying out. And that is this set of honey from Trader Joe's. This is the Rainbow of Honey collection, which includes six four ounce glass bottles containing different flavored honeys. It's called the Rainbow of Honey because the honey varies in color as a result of its source. The lightest colored one is Clover Honey from the United States. The next is Sunflower Honey, from the Ukraine. Next is orange blossom honey from Mexico. A little darker one is eucalyptus honey from Argentina. And then comes American macadamia honey. And finally, the darkest one is mimosa honey from Brazil. 
Now, I love that these honeys are from all around the world, and I'm really interested in tasting each one of them to experience the different flavors. The closest Trader Joe's to me is about an hour and a half away, but the next time I go, I'm definitely gonna pick one of these sets up. They're only $10. And yes, you can get them on Amazon, but they cost over twice that much. Plus a lot of people left comments saying that there's broke in shipping, so that would be a bummer. And I really don't wanna pay that much more for the set when you can get it in person for only $10. But anyway, if you have a Trader Joe's close by, I think this rainbow set of honey would be an excellent holiday gift as well as something to get for yourself. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my winter favorites. And really some of these are my favorites all year, not just in the winter. And like I always do, I'll include links to everything I talked about today in the information box below for your convenience. Let me know what your winter favorites are down in the comment section. Um, I'm planning on recording at least one more video before the end of the year. And I'm thinking about talking about my theme for this year and how that went. And then what will be my theme for 2019. So keep an eye out for that video if you're interested. And now I'm off to meet some friends for a crafty afternoon will probably be knitting and maybe weaving or maybe paper crafting. So I'm heading out to do that. But before I go, I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a happy Kwanzaa. I uh, hope you had a happy Hanukkah a couple of weeks ago. I'll see you in my next video. And until then, stay smart and have a sparkly week.